Here's a quick video about quick stitching uh, booklets. In this case, I'm going to uh, put together a violin part for an opera, and the um, booklet is about 100 pages long. It's been stapled. It's just paper, and the staples are very strong, but the paper is ripping out from the staples, so I'm going to stitch it and remove the staples and hopefully have a an improvement um, and a part that will last longer. First thing I'm going to do is um, show you this clamp that I'm using. This is a homemade clamp with um, it's got some wing nuts and big screws there uh, to hold the paper down and I'm basically going to take the booklet, open it up to the center, and then I'm going to flatten it out as much as I can by folding it backwards. Because these are just large sheets of paper folded over and then stapled together. Um, it's a pretty inexpensive and quick way of putting the booklets together, but really they tend to uh, get ripped and the pages rip out from the staples and just makes a mess. So I'm going to put it in the clamp there. This will hold all the pages securely while I uh, do the, the work on it, which will consist of punching holes and and stitching and um, I don't want to um, have the pages shift as I do this so this really holds them hold it securely in place I'm just checking to see if it's lined up. It uh, The actual center fold needs to be pretty close to the edge uh, of the clamp and you'll see in a minute I've uh, taken some snapshots and um, here this shows you the line, the center line and there's a staple right next to the clamp. That's about how close that I did it. That's the other side where the paper is ripped uh, the outside cover. And then I'm going to put down my straight edge and measure off uh, spots where I'm going to punch holes. And I just take a pencil and mark it. I mark the center and then I mark two inches. I mark the holes two inches apart. That makes it consistent. You really don't have to measure this exactly and it doesn't have to be two inches necessarily but uh, one thing you do need is you want to have an odd number of holes in this case I've got seven holes this um, the odd number allows when you thread to it threads back and forth and covers inside and outside now that I'm taking an awl here, this is a very sharp pointed object which you will not be able to carry on an airplane. And I'm just punching right through those spots that I've marked. And I'm making a pretty good size hole there so it will be easy to thread when I get ready to uh, put the needle through it. Here again you can see how the clamp is holding everything in place. This is very important that you get it right on the center fold, right through the center of the spine. If it's off center then the pages will not open correctly. They'll tend to um, they'll tend to rip uh, against the thread. But if you put it right down the center 
and hold the pages securely in place while you're punching the holes, that, that will uh, prevent that from happening. Now I'm just taking some binding thread and I'm measuring off about uh, maybe two and a half or three times the length of the page because I'm going to run the string down and back so it'll be um, it will cover inside and outside um, by doing that. Now I'm threading the needle. This is about a two and a half or three inch needle. It's fairly large. Now I'm going to turn my um, operation around here so I can get a better angle for stitching. And I like to start from the outside of the spine and go in toward the center. And I've already got a hole there, so it's just a matter of pushing the needle through the hole. And then working your way from the center out to one edge and then uh, work back in the other direction for the entire length of the booklet that you're stitching together. This goes pretty quickly if you've got your holes punched well and they're lined up and uh, this is uh, fairly easy. You want to pull the thread uh, fairly um, taut as you do this. It doesn't have to be really tight at first, just so you don't ha have a lot of extra thread dangling. You just want to tighten it up sort of as you go. And then when you get to the end, you'll um, tighten it and pull it um, to get any slack out of the thread. And this binding thread is pretty heavy stuff, so it, it can take, um, you can pull pretty securely on it, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to, I'm tightening up the thread for each of the stitches so there's not any slack in the, in the way it's stitched. And then I'm going to take the uh, needle and um, loop it around that last, actually it's back to the first stitch. And then after I loop it through there, I'll take the needle off and then just tie a knot right there. And basically at this point, the uh, booklet is stitched together. Trim off the excess thread. At this point, you can take it out of the clamp because it's all put together the way it's going to be. Now here's the way the thread looks and the way the stitching looks. You can see it's gone, they're two inches apart and it's on the inside and it's on the outside. And there's the knot in the middle. Now I'm going to remove the staples. So the staples, is, it's a good idea to leave them in there as you're doing the stitching because if you take them out first, then you've got loose sheets. So um, at this point, after the stitching is done, you can remove the staples, which can be quite a job because some of those staples are crushed actually as they're put in because the paper is so thick and uh, that the staples don't necessarily go in cleanly. And when you're taking them out, you can break them off and 
but you want to make sure you get all the staples out because that's really what's going to contribute to the tearing of the paper more than anything. And I'm just using a little uh, Swiss Army knife tool to work out the staples and uh, then I'll use some needle nose pliers right there to actually grab it and uh, pull the staples out. Now I'm uh, pulling out the end of a staple. I broke one off as I was pulling it out. And there's basically your finished booklet. Um, I want to put a piece of tape on the outside. This is a special type of tape which is uh, actually cut to length and there are tabs that you can tear off. And that's a 12 inch piece of tape. I'm going to put it on top of the spine where the thread is so that nothing on the outside will snag the thread. That just uh, is a protection for the thread on the outside and covers up the knot. And uh, there's your booklet. I'm just uh, working it a little bit because it's fairly new paper. It's not well worn and folded, so I'm just working it a little bit there to open it up. And that's basically the process. Thanks for watching. And here are the tools that I used. See you next time.